My name is Spencer Davis. And he looks every bit like me. This is my good friend Ian Wright. Um, <laughs> we have um, known each other, approximately known each other, over 40 years. Oh, yes. <laughs> really? This is a vintage sepia print that I did at the time uh, from that one negative. But he's just going to get in the charts next week with Hey Joe. I said, great, yeah, I'll come and do a couple of pictures for you. Within three minutes, he'd blown the amps. He'd blown all the fuses in the hotel and the whole block blew out. It took him an hour to set up. Within five minutes, they'd hauled everything out in the van, the Moody Blues, Jimi Hendrix, the experience, and off they escaped. I had a few hits in my time. Uh, keep on running, somebody help me, give me some loving, I'm a man. I'm Eric Burden, who was the lead singer of The Animals. House of the Rising Sun was obviously the biggest one they were known for, but Eric and I used to go and uh, see The Animals or when they did some shows if I had a night off. I can Tina Turner, that was their debut performance on the 1966 Rolling Stones tour. This, this Rolling Stones picture is one of the earliest, or this was their first tour in 1964. And this clearly shows the naivety of it. If, if, if you take a close-up of this one here of Bill Wyman, the old man of the group, I mean, Bill, Bill would tell you, you know, he's actually eating what they got paid, peanuts. And then you've got this little baby-faced fella here on the bottom right here, who actually sang at the Queen's coronation at Westminster Abbey. And that is Keith Richard. The manager of that nightclub phoned me. He said, you know, we've had this terrible blizzard today. But can you come over and do a photograph of Dusty, shovel in the snow just to show and tell everybody we're still open? It's a silhouette picture on stage at the City Hall in Newcastle, December 1971. You don't have to put his name on it. You know straight away who it is. But I can Roy was one of the kindest, charming, lovely man. It's a mystery lady, we don't know who it is. Yeah, if anybody knows who she is, please let me know because we have asked everybody. I was the only photographer at the Globe Theatre, Stockton on Tees, approximately at the same time as JFK was shot in that street in Dallas. And this photograph and the other photographs I took backstage of the Beatles that night have never been published, never been seen before until this exhibition. This is only half of the people that were there waiting to see them. Sometimes you had to run a gauntlet to get through to, to, to the theatre. You got out of the car. I did that picture that way and I did that picture that way. Just look at the... It's just sardine. It's been a good ride. So far